fade into black. That's right. Welcome to RealLibertyMedia.com, RLMRadio.xyz. I'm your host, Vincent Easley, right here, along for the ride, and we're doing some radio writing. We'll go back to that pre-attunication right there, a little warm-up, the musical uh, portion, an hour before, non-recorded. Okay, Rome's is done for now. Since uh, All right, thanks. So, hey, welcome along, everybody. Those here in uh, chat channel, a couple of them over here going on. Come back for a big old how-do <clears throat> here in a minute. How about that? Today, uh, Vincent Easley, the second post, the domesticated terrorist. Here's a brand new idea of what we're really looking at, and it's executed in black and white. What does that mean? Well, you are what you do, not what you say you'll do. Become the media. Take back not only yours, but our future together, collectively, separately. Journalism. Truth needs defense. Be the media. Find me, Vinny, online right here at reallibertymedia.com. Today, taking a look at avoiding the quarry, the pitfalls of perception. The setup for the takedown, that is. Heinlein once said, ignorance is its own death penalty from strands of sorrow now in the uh, R log here you'll find where you can click on all these links and all that is here I'm a writing today radio writing August 29 uh, 23rd it is of 2019 uh, you may be listening live right now Friday li at uh, noon central it's a time and location join the chat 1 p.m. Eastern right now reallibertymedia.com what matters uh, upon the gander and we're going to Take a look, see, at what the definition of a terrorist is. Well, let me come back over here to chat, and we'll take a pause right there and say howdy. Thank you, Moosey. Rocking. Yeah. Yeah, this part's being recorded right now. I better check that button, right? Check it. Where are you at? Come here, little button. Yeah, it says it's recording. I have uh, low volume levels. Now they're picked up. <clears throat> Maybe it's just me. How's the audio? Yes, domesticated terrorist. And uh, I see my faithful follower is not here. Uh, uh, what's his name? Judge Dredd? Hansel? <laughs> uh, we had a little uh, German to start out some of uh, the broadcast, the pre-broadcast. I have, I have evolved into my own dimension. Thank you, Flash Somebody. <laughs> well, hey, in the, in the uh, uh, tradition of Mr. Flash Somebody... Uh, another part of uh, who I do some uh, radio with over here at Real Liberty Media. Let's uh, say hello to the bots and bodies. Barman and Grimner and Moose Girl, all with the big A and the, the little A and the circle tail around it. DCs and back brackets and Asmo, Chalcedony. Echelon and NCIV with free enslaved. You you may be. Graham Z, probably in the garden. Mary, Mary, quite the gardener. How does your garden grow? I be Don C or I be D on C. I ain't sure what all that's about, but Java Doctor Two Eight. Yeah, I'm jacked up on the coffee. Master Brow, scared of snakes. Ponder Gander, that's me. Kate and Rome's and Vanna White are one of our other bots, and there's one of the many Vinnies of Vinny, just the, all by himself. Weather Dork and Phantom and Anti and Chascuro Circle. Hey, my coffee's talking. Yes, fade to black. Uh, where did I leave off at? Circle, the mighty muse. Coffee guy, <laughs> just in time. <laughs> ah, cyber noodle, <laughs> delicious. Duh, and flash somebody. That's the guy I was talking about right there. Frumpy, and, and the one Frumpy, and Gromit, and Hagrid, and JJ's our Scotsman. Kiss, and Matt WJ, 2002. Mr. Schnick, indeed, sir. Poopster and Prince, they were on last night. They'll be right here on Real Liberty Media with the uh, Poopster and Prince Power Hour. Talking about some uh, Bitcoin and the likes of uh, that sort of thing in the first part. And, and evolved into a very uh, interesting uh, look at some of how this stuff works. Now, I don't know much about it. I don't guess I care to, but it's still interesting nonetheless. Got your Prince all over it, Mr. Poopster. Pawn Sauce and Real Donnie Woo. Now, these fellers have come over here. we got some new folks, so welcome along, uh, Mr. Wu. Uh, so, uh, they're sock puppet and smart ass. The holiest Roger. 
Miss Van Meter. How'd it do, ma'am? All right. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming along, coming along. And over here in the other chat channel, uh, Circles Join, you're welcome. Flash, you stay away. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Just kidding. No, seriously, stay away. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. Hi, Wanda Taco. I'm glad you all was along for the pre-tunicated version of uh, What Matters. Uh, ponder again. All right. I, I, let's see if... Uh, all right, thank you, Grimmer. Sounds fine. Let me try to catch up just a little bit here, and we'll jump back into this broadcast. For guys and gals, the broadcast that fits you. It's like a kilt, right? <laughs> Either. <laughs> you can wear it. Either way. Hey, somebody get that duck over here. I'm going to get him. Uh, I'm going to get him real quick. Do I got him? Got him. I got him. Me and Chloe tied yesterday at 345 ducks befriended. Uh, yep. So that was pretty cool. It was probably a first. It's a history in the chat arama. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm caught up. So let me go back over where I was at. <clears throat> at the setup for the takedown. And what Heinlein said about ignorance being its own death penalty. Correct. Now, the last broadcast, I included this, and I thought it so important that I should bring it back again in quoting Jeanette Finnegan when she says, I believe we are watching the political machine through and with the media's help, crafting a list of words defining what they want us to believe a domestic terrorist is. Beware. Don't fall for their trap. The stocking horse. Now, like I said, these uh, you'll get this R log. If you're listening at YouTube, push stop, go to BitChute, go over there, or go back here to the uh, reallibertymedia.com forward slash author forward slash vine and click over there. There you can get the uh, clickable links. So if you're listening at BitChute, come on over. The uh, link's in the description back over here. And you'll see some lovely additions and crafty ways to uh, put words together with pictures in... Uh, Kind of doing some propaganda, no, anti-propaganda. What would you call that? Uh, if it's not conspiring, it'd be prospiring. So yes, come to the pro prospiring page that I do here. Mm -hmm. The stalking horse. Public relations and propaganda. It's leading the drive for social perception and direction of our collective existence. It's a wonder we ain't all been trampled to death. Whoa, whoa, you say, what's a stalking horse? Well, in the 1972 film, Jeremiah Johnson comes to mind when thinking to describe the rarely seen stalking horse. Bearclaw, a seasoned mountain man, teaches a tenderfoot Jeremiah to hunt from the far side of the query. Yes, I did say query. Saying, elk don't know how many feet a horse has. Hunters would therefore slowly approach the query, their quarry, <laughs> their pitfall by walking alongside their horses, keeping their upper bodies out of sight until it's pow too late. The stalking horse approach. Using the stalking horse is a camouflage to deceive the target or the prey. A stalking horse horse method used by hunters for ages is to crouch behind the horse, concealing the true identity and purpose for the approach. The false front <clears throat> A stocking horse bid is an offer or agreement to test the market in advance, benefiting the secreted party. If you describe a person or thing as a stocking horse, you mean that it is being used to get a temporary advantage so that someone can get what they really want. In politics, stocking horse is someone who runs against a leader to see how strong the opposition is and the stalking horse then withdraws in favor of a stronger challenger. Well, as a cowboy, you got to know. Cowboy up, and sometimes you must do, make do with what you got. I want to ask, who really writes reality? There's a video here in the mouth of madness. And like I said, you come over here when we're all said and done, and you'll be able to click on all these. And it brings me to... Uh, the idea of uh, livelihood. Now, me and Flash talked on this, <coughs> or touched on it at least a bit yesterday. A human being should be able to 
change a diaper, plan an invasion, butcher a hog, car on a ship, you know, master a ship, design a building, write a sonnet, balance an account, build a wall, set a bone, comfort the dying, take orders, give orders, cooperate, act alone, solve equations, analyze a new problem, pitch manure, yes, poop, program a computer, boy, I'm short on all this, ain't I? Cook a tasty meal. There I can do. Uh, fight efficiency. Die gallantly. Die gallantly. Uh, specialization is for insects. Yeah. Well, what about all that livelihood? Well, you go to looking and try to find a definition on that. And it talks about money and jobs. But what is the real thing in livelihood? Is uh, food, shelter, and uh Clothing and having fun with your life, right? Procuring that. <clears throat> but, is there a domesticated terrorist? Where do we lie? Where do we lie? We lie. Uh, somebody's signaling me. Thank you, Slap Flash. Um, <clears throat> I think I put this next one out of place. Maybe not. Let me come back and check uh, check the clicks. Yeah, Grimner asks if I change my own diapers. I haven't changed a diaper in, wow, decades, I reckon. All right. Now, back to the program. Where was I? Out of place. That's right. But I'm going to put it in here in, in the order I got it, because that's where I put it. All right. So that was from Lazarus King, and also it was on a link from uh, Robert A. Heinlein. And again, it's in the uh, R log. <coughs> Clickable. Let me move that uh, microphone back up here. Let's see. Too close. Right there. <clears throat> okay. Now I have a, 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 a Dab Lee link here. Lies, Deceit, Murder, and the Kill List. <clears throat> Here's some real good scrunching up of words, uh, what I like to call paraphrase plagiarism. And I'll read it. If only it were all so simple to separate and destroy the line dividing good and evil that passes not through states nor between classes, but through every man's heart. Impossible to expel from the world it's entirely in its entirety, but it is possible within each of us. At what point then should one resist? That's a quote from uh, that I scrunched up there from uh, some... Uh, well, that's a name that may be Russian. You'll have to pronounce it yourself, but you can find it. Inside the notice of the news we come to. Now, there's a clink, uh, click, a clink. Ring the bell, anyways. Black Tide Rising. Yeah, you can click back over that. It'll take you over to Hal Anthony. And uh, on to the Maxim 37 that uh, we covered, me and Flash. Flash and I covered yesterday. Black Tide Rising. It's an audio book. It's a long bunch of uh, books there. Uh, anyways, I like listening to audio books. And sometimes I pull little things out of them. Like this right here. There's no such thing as overkill. Only open fire and cover me while I reload. We're looking at domesticated terrorists. Federal agencies destroying the American way of life. The full might enforced by federal law enforcement. Tactics of terror. Decades long bureaucracy. Litigation. Land for forfeiture are laws being used to steal land and water in the West. When bad men combine, the good must associate, else they will fall one by one. An unpitied sacrifice in a contemptible struggle. Edmund Burke. Inside accounts about the ongoing cronyism, corrupt hiring practice, overspending, and abuse of government vehicles and travel time and so forth. The list is long. Here's a link over here to the Free Range Report written by Miss Han. Uh, again, <clears throat> it'll be there. Now, I, here we come to a little old me. And I find some domesticated terrorists ducking out in Denver. That's right. The state hides its shameless face. Crimes of the state. The prosecution of Bruce Doucette. And here's the link, this picture here, from uh, Vincent Easley the second. When he called in, more stories on government corruption within the just 
Just as just us, them, system, and updates on my travels, or lack thereof. Uh, right there, when I called in to the uh, Freakers Bowl, and that's at uh, 1 hour and 35 minutes in. You'll find it in the R-Log. Well, where do we find ourselves? On the firing line. Sovereign citizens. Here's a video here that you go can uh, go listen to yourself that the FBI calls them domestic terrorists. And also a link from the SPLC. The contemporary sovereign belief system is based on a decades-old conspiracy theory. We're going to go back and uh, pop some of that open and take a look <clears throat> at that. Because there's a lot of stuff in here. And a lot of people are kind of scared to go reading what the what they'd call their enemy to, is a writing about them. But I say, oh, say it, say it all. Go to played shout it out loud in the pre-tunication. Whoa, I didn't even go back to that list. And I was going to cover that. We'll do it in a minute. So this is from the Southern Poverty Law Center, and uh, who's the writer here? It's not my friend Ryan Lentz, but uh, it is uh, James Timothy Turner, I think. <clears throat> and down here, let's see if I can find it. There we go. The sovereign belief system. It's the contemporary sovereign belief system is based on a decades-old conspiracy theory. It goes on to say, at some point in history, sovereigns believe the American uh, government set up by the founding fathers with a legal system for the sovereigns referred to as common law was secretly replaced by a new government system based on admiralty law, the law of the sea, and international commerce. Under common law, or so they believe, the sovereigns would be free men. Under admiralty, admiralty law, they are slaves, and secret government forces have a vested interest in keeping them that way. Some sovereigns believe this is... Uh, uh, yeah, after the Civil War. So there was uh, the uh, 14th Amendment and 13th Amendment, and then the uh, the uh, adjourning without uh, uh, finishing the day or calling for uh, rejoinment of the uh, Congress. Anyways, a lot to that. <clears throat> you could uh, I could probably tell you who to go check more on that about, but since I didn't, I won't. <laughs> now. Now, what this is here, I'm going to go to the fog bow. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, that same picture you'll find on my Facebook of ducking out in Denver is uh, over here at the fog bow. They take that into, into discussion and into a thread because uh, Brand Thornton and I went up to Denver to go to the uh, the trial for Bruce Doucette. We got there the second week, two-week trial. You know, I titled it, Ducking Out in Denver, The State Hides Its Shameless Face. Crimes of the State, The Prosecution of Bruce Doucette. And that's where you'll find that link over where I talk about it. But here's a picture. Oh, how lovely outside the courthouse in Denver. What a story that was getting there. And you can find it. I'm going to have this uh, thread there. You can read it. And maybe I'll come to that where, uh, um, yes, our, our trip up to Denver. And we came over the pass in blizzard conditions and barely beat them, closing it down. Oh, it was terrible when we arrived in Denver. But we made that first day, and uh, Bruce's wife, Kim, took Brandy and I in to their home. And, it, you know, it was real sad. But we're the only ones that showed up for that, generally. Uh, there's a few few other people that trickled along, but they they basically... Had it black me, uh, blackballed out of media. They weren't even going to talk about it because this was the, like, they don't want to feed it. And that's all in the thread there uh, through all these posts to different people over on the Fogbo forum. Uh, poor little Kim. She's a serious victim of uh, domesticated terrorists. In this picture here, I've got uh, one girl is uh, like a legal aide or something. I'd never figure her she was. The other gal is... Uh, uh, Wart, <laughs> Miss Wart. Uh, there is Ryan English, and there is uh, yeah, the uh, Denver Sheriff's uh, appointed U.S. Marshal to the case. Uh, what's his name? Byrne. Yes, Mr. Byrne. And hiding behind him is the robber ship himself, Robert Shapiro, the uh, 
prosecutor. And that's Ryan English back there. He's trying to stick his head in the trash can trying to get a hot way to hide. They all hide. They all wanted to hide when I said, I'm taking your picture. And then when they walked away, Robert Shapiro threatened me with the... Uh, I was harassing them. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I reported you to Captain of the Sheriff. That's right. And <laughs> in the thread, it's very funny. You'll find the reference to me as the <laughs> former sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in Riverside, yes, I I ran a election for sheriff, and I was the only one there, so I won undoubtedly. <laughs> sheriff Finney, baby, that's right, that's me. Hey, wait, let me get back over here. Oh, we missed 420 by two minutes, but we, we I did call it it's uh, uh, 420 GMT, yeah, uh, in London, jolly old London. Oh, here we go. So this one here, I'm trying to. Put it in here as a uh, embed, but uh, in domestic terrorism, <clears throat> yeah, I've gone past it. The, the uh, SPLC, yeah. Here's my next one, but I'm going to go to Facebook to read to you about it. <clears throat> yeah, here's somebody I accidentally had accept on for a friend request and didn't realize as a troll. When I, Where are you from? Hello, hi. Uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, back and forth inbox. Thank you. I didn't mean to accept your friend request. I'll delete you later. <clears throat> bye bye. Hey, look at there. Talk about timing. Here I go to uh Facebook to read that. So I'm gonna open this up in another tab. Thank you, Julieta. Ah, oh, she's gonna listen now and I'm saying your name. <laughs> How perfect is that? I'll come back just a second and say hi to you again. <laughs> Talking about you now, girl. Huh, huh? This is my friend. Oh, Julieta. So, looky here, Brand Thornton. Talk about, talk about. I was just talking about you, my brother. We've got a couple of shares here. I bet you Brand Thornton's one that shared. He sure did. Thank you, sir. That's my good friend, Brand Thornton. And we're talking about domesticated terrorists like the ones I was just talking about, the prosecution the prosecutors, the persecutors of uh, Bruce Doucette, the uh, the domesticated terrorists executed in black and white. Now, in the uh, in that trial, we can talk about Marshall, Marshall, how they, I mean, just laugh in the face of justice. They get one of their FBI informants in there. I heard his testimony in the courtroom. Recorded. Couldn't even show his own stinking face. Ducking out in Denver. That's what they do. Did uh, did they did, did they do things wrongly? Bruce Doucette and the others, absolutely. Should they be put in prison for the rest of their life because they're trying to present an opposition to the occupation? Now, we read in uh, the uh, from the Southern Poverty Law Center about uh, domesticated uh, peop, uh, terrorists, domestic terrorists, they call them. And you keep reading through there, and you'll find where they're. Uh, talk about being uh, writing paper and and on all this other stuff. These methods that they're trying to uh, uh, implement against judges and uh, law enforcement and hold them account. Now, what's happened here? See, they'll say you know opposed to the lawful uh, thing, and they're trying to set up their own lawful thing and this and that. Well, it's all you know. It gets overwhelming. You can go swimming off that in your mind, trying to figure it all out. I first learned about Bruce Doucette and forgot I even knew who he was when he was up there in Oregon at the uh, Mauer deal. And uh, I thought this was real business about you know these uh, uh, grand jury investigations and constitutional judges and whatnot. But they ended up capturing him and putting these people in jail. And uh, all the accounts that I have about Bruce Doucette, what it's what a great guy he was. You know, like I said, uh, Brandon and I stayed in Kim's home there uh, where uh, Bruce, uh, while he was off locked up. You can really see a difference in that man and in, in the uh, the man he was before being arrested, the man he was becoming while he was, uh, what I saw of him in the courtroom, who he's developing into. And then when he had to go into federal prison for the, well, effectively as the rest of his life, the hardened man he had to become to be able to live in that environment. It's a terrible system. These domesticated terrorists apply against Americans that are fighting for uh, life and li liberty 
the pursuit of their property, to be able to keep that and not be uh, hijacked, pirated. What is that true conspiracy with piracy, right, Flash? The con, the con pirates. Who else liked here? Neil Wampler. Thank you. This is a great man, Neil Wampler. He was able to defend himself in Oregon and beat those charges they put against him. Him with some other great folks. Ammon and Ryan and Shauna. That's what we're talking about. These domesticated terrorists that come against the American people. The government has changed completely where they're using these powers, these police agencies, governing at gunpoint to terrorize look up the word of terrorist fear intimidation and dread against us we the people who's the domesticated terrorist here it's not me and you that I'm talking about even though we have been domesticated most certainly I want to go back to uh, thank you Melina Grace McKinnis for the tag along with uh, Andre Ellison Parker and 68, 66 others that include me, me, myself, and I, you, because we're all in it together in the end. <clears throat> now, this is a little bit, of, I'm just going to have to read it and let it be what it is. Now, uh, there's the left and the right, and these people are <clears throat> being manipulated, and if not domesticated, either side. So this was sent to the PPB in regards to Saturday's rally protest turned riots, or riots that would probably be sick, by Antifa and friends. The Portland Police Bureau. <clears throat> As I watched the events in Portland, Oregon today, dubbed in domestic terrorism unfold, I watched with much apprehension as I have seen how these things have unfolded in the past between Antifa and and constitutional patriots. I have seen a lack of enforcement of keeping Antifa separate Antifa I'll say it like I'm supposed to say Antifa separated from the Patriots even when there is a permit. Permit? I'm fully aware that today was an event where no per permit was obtained. Permission. Today was a very different day as you the police the Portland police and other agencies that helped with your efforts did not or they did an exceptional job in keeping the two groups apart and quelling as much violence as you could, expressing that if either side did not follow instructions, I looked away, I lost my place, uh, that they would be immediately arrested and charged. You helped the patriots that wanted to exit the city to avoid violence, and that is not what they were there for, and do so safely and swiftly and so that they could assemble in a different location and have a different kind of gathering. You also did an exceptional job in containing the remaining agitated counter-protesters of this uh, rally com uh, compiled of Antifa, Black Bloc, Black Israelites, and other groups, and breaking up cells of violence that were breaking out across the city against citizens. Today I saw you, the Portland Police Bureau, taking steps to protect your city from the violence and hate that envelops it instead of standing by and letting violence take over. You did an outstanding job today, and I hope to see more of this in the future. Done in a fair and constitutional manner. Thank you, uh, and uh, thank you, says Melina McInnes. Uh, Patriot Angel News, Liberty or Death News. So there's uh, a lot of comments in there, <clears throat> which... I will, uh, is what I'll do, I know what I'll do, I'll turn this into uh, a dabbly, that way people without Facebook will be able to, uh, it's a back door into Facebook, so in the uh, radio log you'll be able to find that and click and read that, <clears throat> and you'll be able to have access to the uh, people in, uh, that have clicked on like and uh, otherwise and made comment, uh, and there's a bunch, hi Amy, she's my friend from uh, Bunkerville. She was one of my angels. Talk about angels, yep. <clears throat> I had angels. Red Bear Apache. He, he said he was a demon, but, or a <laughs> devil's angel, maybe. <laughs> He's a great guy, a great friend. Come to the rescue. Yeah. yeah took, me, took me to town one time up there. <clears throat> and stopped by a time or two. 
Now, let's see. Where am I? Let me go back over and say hi to chat. Anybody a chattering over here? Uh, everybody is, looks like. All right, what have I got left over here? <coughs> here we go. All right, back in line. <coughs> here's a here's a uh, what will I call it? A paraphrased plagiarism, uh, a mashing of words. I put all this little bit together from several sources, and there's places to click to see where I got them at, and I'll just read it as is. <coughs> be damned. Poor be damned. No, that's coming next. It's hard to light a candle. Easy to curse the dark instead. Finding the way back home. A light in the darkened. A light in the darkness. Beacons of hope and flame. Showing the way back home. <coughs> Wait a minute. Stop. Hold up. <coughs> mm. re <Re-coffee. coughs> Alright, let's start it again. It's hard to light a candle. Easy to cur- curse the dark instead. Finding the way back home. A light in the darkness. Beacons of hope and flame showing the way back home. There's no going back. For the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. Come away, O oh human child. Carry on, my wayward son. For there will be peace when you are done. Is that too corny? I almost thought about leaving the song out of the end. But, again, you can click on and find where all that comes for. The poor be damned. What we have here is government by plutocratic authoritarians who will gleefully dole out millions to a wealthy family and then just as gleefully go on, uh, go out of their way to deny food to millions of poor families. Read more by Jim uh, Hightower. And on, go on, you new American, and torture the data. Do not go softly. For it, for who, who is, uh, who is he? Yeah. Who is he for whom you raised the gallows tree? He who serves me best, said he, the hangman. The motto in the courthouse is a quotation from Virgil, and it translates, Having been warned, learn justice. You know what Carol Bundy says? The beautiful thing about truth is it's so easy to tell. Well, this has been radio writing. Sounds great and less filling. <laughs> Remember to tell uh, YouTube to get bit and get the bit shoot for a uh, ponder gander. And you know what? I've got to go back here and uh, talk about the pretunicated selection of music. <clears throat> and how I wove it together, or how it weaves together itself, uh, more precisely. We start out with, the cake is a lie. And I've talked about that, and Grimner told us where it comes from. But this was a uh, mashup mix in uh, Cake by the Ocean and You Can't Touch This. And uh, that was uh, one for Vinnie Stickler. Sticker, Vinnie Sticker, yes. And then we had uh, some uh, Run to the Hills. It was an Iron Maiden cover, acoustic, into the School of Rock. Because uh, we're going to band together, right? As wayfaring strangers. I'm going to have this list all together after I get one talk over the line. And that was Fear and Loathing Left Las Vegas. Uh, yeah, uh, echo back to a ponder gander of uh, Season 1 of Bundyville. From Leah Satili. I covered uh, the last broadcast here. I covered uh, the first couple episodes of uh, Bundyville Season 2, The Remnant. So get on over to reallibertymedia.com forward slash author forward slash Vine, or Vinny, that is me. And uh, you can take a look and a listen. To uh, back to here, where we're at, one took over the line. It was a religious experience. About <laughs> Lawrence Welk, that was really cracking me up. But not like the bluegrass zombies <laughs> from Moses Wiley. But how did we get there? Well, we get there through life. And thank you, Steve T. There is a time. I think that's the best cover of the Dillards. There is a time than anybody I've uh, come across. He's a mighty fine picker and a singer, sure enough. And that zombie bluegrass, that was pretty funny. You gotta listen to that. 
Then we went on to a little more soulful side of the zombie. And how this ties together, well, you know, they're trying to tell us things, right? This idea of perception. Well, postmodern jukebox give us a soulful example. And we went on to the next one of crazy. Perception, right? In this time of the season. Is it? Well, we fade to black. And that's where the last song was from Metallica. And it was a live version. And it kind of built up the whole idea of what we went into here on this domesticated terrorist. Who were there? I didn't get to all these guys. Sure not. This was just barely just the introduction. Well, that's what I do. And I'll try to add to it the next time and do more and more and more. Just keep making piles. At least I can just throw it out there. What we got. What are we going to do? Keep doing what we're doing, I reckon. <laughs> Seems like I was going to go somewhere else before I finished up. Uh, maybe not. Um, hmm. Well, I know I did. Uh, there's more, more I was going to say here. Oh, I've got other stuff over here in my pocket, don't I? That's what it was. If I can pretend to find out where I was at over here. There were several things, and I may have covered this in the last broadcast, I think. <clears throat> well, since we're fading to black, I'm going to say hello, goodbye, world. This isn't change. This is The world isn't changing. We are. I think I did use part of this already. So, But we do have... I'll do it again, nonetheless. You have a choice. Spaces and places in television or television. Radio writing sounds great, less feeling. But there are some serious questions that need fact check. Our choices of action will determine who we will become. A consciousness of innocent of innocence. Well, and the sea will tell. So I think I did put this down in the last broadcast, but I'm not going to add it to this R-log except for in this our tunication of me speaking. But that comes from Advent Sunfall. Uh, you can find it, uh, do a Google search. I think I closed that tab out, nonetheless. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I said this to Flash, didn't I? And sometimes good people do terrible things. Because that is what needs to be done. You just need to decide who is the monster. That came again from that uh, that book. But that goes a lot deeper there. And where uh, these people that are these domesticated terrorists that are calling people domestic terrorists. The enemy will never attack where you're uh, strongest. So we need to know our enemy, right? Old civil, uh, an old Civil War song is a line from uh, Adeline, Adeline. And it may be years and it may be forever. So how long do we go on about sh a struggle that we're in? Well, two guesses. Uh, and yeah, you're both right. Um, well, keep with me, keep with me, with me. Uh, yes. Oh, here it is. An autonomous colony, or so you might suppose, within the kingdom. The domesticated terrorist. It is, it is, it is. Hey, there's Tom's number. Yeah, yeah, Tom called me to warn me about playing with snakes. Where I'm trying to, uh, well, <laughs> I keep dropping it. But i got to go back and get with Chuck again and get uh, this set up for uh, Bill uh, Fullerton, who was the uh, domesticated terrorist in the case of uh, Schaefer Cox. There's, uh, there's a lot to that story. And that's uh, part of the portion not told here. Um... If you forgive me, if the judgment of a petition, uh, what is this? There was a couple of videos that I have comment on, but I'm going to leave them out. Like I said, this is the beginning uh, here. I'm going to really have to just come back and uh, uh, close this up in another a episode here for uh, what matters upon Ganner, the domesticated terrorist. And this has been executed in black and white. 
and I'm going to run it on out. Thanks, uh, thanks for listening. Hey, we had a brand new show uh, last night. Debut, debut, <laughs> debut. <coughs> it was it. So we've tried to decide here how we're going to put this time thing in. I'm going with uh, Central Time because that's where I'm at. No, I'll go with Eastern, just not the Beacon Tankers. 11 p.m. last night was the Poopster and Prince Power Hour debut right here. Talk, uh, they were talking about Bitcoin and other things, uh, monetary like that. And the schedule, though, is, well, today, tonight, Grammy Mary's got, let's see, two more broadcasts. So tonight and Wednesday, this is our last Freakers Friday broadcast for the foreseeable future, 7 p.m. Grammy blasted off the last time for the Freakers Friday, followed by the Freakers Ball Y'all with Grimner and Moose Girl at 11 p.m. tomorrow at uh, noon. He is uh, flash somebody in the dork table. Sunday follows with uh, Fast Finger Trivia playing action right here in the chat room at reallibertymedia.com while we're listening to Grimner and he's spinning some blues for you and me. That's right. Three hours later, we get to go behind the woodshed with Hal Anthony. Anthony, excuse me, for some, uh, yeah, hard hitting lessons. The notice in the news, that's right. Get on over here Sunday. This is the flagship day of Real Liberty Media. And Monday we come back for leftovers. That's right, from Grim. We've got uh, news and the views and Grim leftovers, 7 p.m. Tuesday it's uh, in a perfect world. Never know what time it is, but we're contrasting the occupation. Flash somebody and I on occasion. Wednesday, Grammy, we say goodbye to Grammy here at Real Liberty Media. She steps off out into the cornfields in Kansas. But we'll see her right here in chat. So don't despair. Come on over. Get a chuckle and a giggle. Because she'll do that for you for sure. And don't miss her last broadcast next Wednesday. Follow it again by Thursday. The Pooch, the the Prince, <laughs> the Poops to Prince Power Hour is back at 11 p.m. And, uh, well, Flash is uh, doing things like uh, real cheap. At least 20% off, and that's 2 p.m. before that on Thursday. And I may or may not be back with Part 2 next Friday on a Ponder Gander. That's me, Vinny. Anyways, we'll try it. What not? Wait a minute. I'm getting uh, She'll be here next Friday as well. Okay. Good, good, good. So we got one more uh, Freakers Friday with Grammy. Thank you, Grimner. Thank y'all for listening. Uh, we'll cut this one off and talk to you more next time. Thank you. <laughs>